morning dear students welcome to the english class in this class of video today we are going to discuss the topic wordress and two classes so far completed on the topic wordress and this is the class 3 and in this class 3 and we are are going to discuss some other rules of making stress and in the class 1 and class 2 we had to discuss some rules the very first rule is just let me recapitulate what were the rules that were discussed in the previous classes rule 1 is how a stress is shifted from one syllable to another syllable when the word is used as a noun and also a verb and second one is all the disyllabic words all the disyllabic words which are nouns and adjectives and have silent letters stress is on their first syllable and another point is all the trisyllabic words which have stress on their first syllable all the trisyllabic words which have stress on their first syllable and we need to understand one thing that both disyllabic and trisyllabic words have stress on their first syllable and the very thing you need to think is that disyllabic words with prefixes disyllabic words with prefixes like like x r e in so this some prefixes if the uh, disyllabic word starts with the prefixes stress is on their second syllable similarly if the trisyllabic words starts with the prefixes stress is on their second syllable and these were the points that we discussed in the class 1 and class 2 and uh, i would like to inform you one thing that the materials are available in our college office and most of the student received material and i request rest of the student to take materials for our reference classes thank you all of you thank you very much and now get into the topic that is rule number 6 rule number 6 talks about c compound words which have stress on their first syllable now what is a compound word compound in the sense of combination compound means combination that means combination of two nouns or combination of two words for example arm chair key chain railroad doorbell blackboard so bus stop okay railway station these are the best example of the compound words that means combination of two words compound words are combination of two words that means you know even when you uh, separate these two words so they have individual meanings for example see see sick see sick is a, com a combination of two words so first one is see and second one is sick if you separate to see separately it has a special meaning it has its own meaning and at the same time sick so when you combine two nouns together they have a separate meaning so that such words are called com compound words so compound words have stress on their first syllable so that to see sick how many how many syllables are there here two syllables see sick see sick so that to compound words have stress on their first syllable so that to first syllable has a stress and next one see bus stop bus is a separate word and stop is also a separate word but when you combine them together it is a special word that is bus stop so that bus stop there are two syllables so that stress is on their first syllable and here irrespective of kinds of syllables irrespective of kind of syllables if it is a compound word their stress is on first syllable and now coming to the masterpiece masterpiece it is a trisyllabic word it is a trisyllabic word you know uh, we discussed this point in a trisyllabic words trisyllabic words have stress on their first syllable but here when you divide this uh, uh, word into two words that is a master piece master is a particular word piece is a separate word when you when you combine them it has a spe special meaning that is a master piece so that uh, stress is on their first syllable here see here there are two syllables and two syllables but here master piece three syllables but irrespective of syllables here if it is a, a compound word compound noun or compound word there you should have a stress on first syllable 
try to and here say C42 it is a diacyclic word C42 port is a separate word and C is also a separate word so that it is a compound word so stress is on their first syllable okay let's move on to another one pig leaves pig is a separate word and leaves is also a separate word but when you combine pig leaves it has a separate meaning so that uh, pig leaves uh, is a compound word so that stress is on first syllable that is uh, uh, p next one hydro power hydro is a special word and also power is also another word so these two words combined combinedly formed a word that is uh, hydro power so that it is a compound word therefore stress is on first syllable h okay i and next c call center call center call is a word and also center is also separate word but when you merge them together it has a special meaning that is call center so stress is on first syllable that is ka and now see keyboard keyboard key is a special word board is also another word so when you combine them it is a keyboard so that it is a compound word so that stress is on first syllable so dear students you need to understand one thing that so irrespective of syllables here if it is a compound word you do not forget to have a stress on their first syllable if it is a compound word their stress is on first syllable do not think of do not think of their syllables here so here a compound words may have uh, two or three syllables but do not uh, care them uh, do not uh, worry about the syllables here if it is a compound uh, there you should have a stress on their first syllable that is the rule number 6 okay now moving on to the rule number 7 this is very very important rule number 7 is very very important in the previous examinations paper most of the words were given from the rule number 7 so it is better to have a uh, look at the rule number 7 thoroughly the rule number 7 talks about that uh, the words ending with the, the suffix already in the previous class we discussed suffix and prefix so prefixes are the clusters of the letters which are added before the root word all the prefixes to change the root word into the negative that means prefixes can change the negative positive words into the negative okay whereas uh, prefixes are used in front of the root word whereas uh, suffixes are used at the end of the root word so that is the difference between the prefix and suffix here suffix what is the suffix that i mentioned here uh, ation a t i o n ation is a suffix that is added at the end of the root word so when you find words ending with the uh, suffix ation so which have a stress on their penultimate syllable penultimate syllable this is a second syllable from the ending now you need to understand what exactly the word penultimate is penultimate is nothing but second from i mean second from last second from last is penultimate second from last is penultimate so that we need to make a stress from the last syllable onwards so till now we have a stress from the first syllable onwards but this time when it when a word starts when a word ends with the suffix a t i o n ation a t i o n ation there you should have a stress on their second syllable from the last second syllable from the last for example see civilization civilization it is a tetra syllabic word civilization there are four syllables so that it is a tetra syllabic word so we should not think uh, whether it is a disyllabic word or a trisyllabic word or a tetra syllabic word but uh, when you identify see here dear friends uh, dear students so a t i o n ation so this word civil is uh, added uh, a t i o n suffix at the end of the root word so that as it is uh, ended with the a t i o n ation the suffix uh, stress is from second syllable uh, second from last syllable c j sh j sh sh j so that uh, stress is on second syllable j stress is on second syllable j okay next uh, perspiration perspiration re sha sha re so that from last to second syllable r 
Next, communication, cation, cation, kesha, shake. So the stress is on the uh, second syllable from the last. Two. So from last onwards, we need to count the syllable from the second onwards. Sha, k. So that here, k, kation. And now, education. Okay. And next, infatuation, asian. And finally, variation, variation. So now, let us talk about it. So these are the uh, examples with the word ended with the uh, suffix asian. If the word ended with the suffix asian, stress is on last syllable from the uh, okay second syllable from the last. So that uh, now let us talk about uh, let us talk about uh, another rule that is very very important. Now rule number eight. Rule number eight talks about see words ending with suffixes i t y. So in the previous rule <coughs> we talk about. Words ending with suffix Asian stress is on penultimate syllable that is second syllable from the last. Now see words ending with suffixes I T Y I T Y which have stress on anti penultimate syllable. Anti penultimate syllable here anti penultimate syllable means third syllable from the last. Penultimate syllable second from the last whereas anti penultimate syllable third from the last when when words end with the suffix ity stress is on third syllable from the last that means we need to count the syllable from the last onwards okay now see here ability a b l t how many syllables are there there are four syllables so it is a tetrasyllabic word so that now let us count to syllable from the last to syllable onwards t li b so the stress is on stress is on sec, uh, last b actually it is c from first it is a second syllable from first it is a second syllable but whereas from the last to it is a third syllable okay ability now see capacity T C Pa. So the uh, here third syllable. So one, two, three. So the uh, stress is on P. Now see futility. T L T. T L T. So stress is on T. Okay. So here see these words ended with the I T Y. I T Y. Here I T Y. Here I T Y. And here I T Y. And here also I T Y and uh, I T Y. So all these words have uh, are ending with the suffix I T Y. So that uh, we should add stress on their third syllable from the last. That is the anti penultimate syllable. So here futility T L T. So uh, generosity C T C R O R O C T. So that uh, stress is on R letter. And now see electricity electricity. Okay T C Three, three C T. So the two stress is on T letter. And now opportunity, opportunity. Need, oh sorry, T N T U T U N T. So last syllable. One, two, three. So the stress is on T. So this is how when words end with the suffix I T Y, suffix I T Y, stress is on anti penultimate syllable. That is. Third syllable from the last onwards. If it is a penultimate syllable, that is stress uh, second syllable from the last. Anti syllable, anti penultimate syllable, that is uh, uh, last. Uh, I mean third syllable from the last. Okay, now so this is penultimate, anti penultimate, and the last one is last rule of the word stress is that we should have a stress. Basically, stress does not uh, affect. Stress does not affect when the words ended with the derivational suffixes. Here, when the words ended with the derivational suffixes, stress does not affect. See, for example, as, ans, ans, n, ss, could, and full, is, ish, uh, ive, les, les, ly, me, and meant. So these are the derivational syllables. Okay, these are these are the derivational suffixes. Even when we add derivational suffixes to the root word, 
stress does not affect you. For example, A Z. Let us write a word with A Z. Carry. So stress is on first syllable as it is a disyllabic word. So that we should have a stress on there first syllable. But even after adding carries, carries a noun verb form. Carries is a noun form. So that we added A Z in the suffix derivational suffix. Even though the stress does not affect, so that stress is on there first syllable. Now A and C appear. Appear is a disyllabic word, so that stress is on their first syllable. But here appearance, we added A and C the suffix to the appear, so that stress is on their first syllable. So stress does not affect even after adding derivational suffixes. Here see bright stress is on their first syllable. Brighten stress is on their first syllable. S tiger stress is on their first syllable. Tigress stress is on their first syllable. Put child stress is on their first syllable. Childhood stress is on their first syllable. Now see full power stress is on their first syllable. Powerful stress is on their first syllable. Now coward, coward. So stress is on their first syllable. Coward dies. I see is added stress is on their first syllable. Now ish, ish. Fever stress is on their first syllable. Fever is stress is on their first syllable. Now see, attend, attend, stress is on their first syllable. Attentive, stress is on their first syllable. Less, color, stress is on their first syllable. Colorless, stress is on their first syllable. Certain, L-Y, stress is on their first syllable. Certainly, stress is on their first syllable. And now see, last one is meant, M-E-N-T, meant. Mary, okay, manage, stress is on their first syllable. And management stress is on their first syllable. So here you should understand one thing that even after adding derivational suffixes, the stress does not shift from one syllable to another syllable. This is the point that you should keep in our mind. And I hope these are the points. These are the nine points. If you wanted to get a thorough knowledge, if you wanted to uh, be a master on adding or stress. You should need to know all these nine points. Okay. I hope you understand the class. If you have any problems, if you have any doubt, please drop your uh, doubt in the comment box. Thank you all of you. Thank you very much.